just 64 players remain in the 2021 FIDE World Cup and five of them are Indians. Indians had a great start at this event and now we are down to five of them but sadly one of them is guaranteed to clash out because of the biggest match for Indians at the World Cup is Vidit Gujarati takes on Adi Bhaskaran. On the positive side though at least one Indian is guaranteed to go through but we'll have a look at all the matchups and as well as how our other Indians fared in round two as well. So let's start off with Vidit Gujarati as you can see the results and the pairing tree. Uh, Vidit beat Alexander Fear it was 1-1 in their classical games and in the tie break Vidit drew with Black comfortably and he employed his pet opening the Catalan opening with White to beat Fear in the rapid game and he has advanced 2.5 1.5 and he is going through to meet his good friend uh, Adivan Baskaran in round 3 of the World Cup. As I've also created a longer uh, tree this time so you can also see his round 4 opponent is going to be Nils Grandelius or Jeffrey Xiong from the USA and guys you guys know the round 5 matchup if all things go uh, accordingly then we can see Vidit or Adivan taking on Anish Giri as well in round 5 so that is another wonderful matchup that I'm looking forward to. Next up, let's see Adiban ne kaisa kiya. Adiban ka bahut hi sorted games se. We covered his game, his best win in our game of the day section when he beat Delgado Ramirez with that attacking game. So round one, you can see one comfortably two zero. Round two also one two zero and against a twenty six hundred grandmaster. So Adiban looks in sublime form and bahut hi badhiya chess khel raha hai. So it can be a very very interesting match. Let me know in the comments whom are you rooting for, Team AD or Team uh, VD. So let us see who wins. Sadly, one of them is going to go out, but we will have one Indian in round four for sure on the flip side as well. So once again, I'm quite undecided for this one. I know both of them pretty well. I, both of them are my friends, so it's very difficult to pick one. So I'll be neutral. I'll enjoy the games, but let me in the comments whom you are supporting in this match. Next up, we have our endgame expert Hari Krishna winning one one of the most amazing endgames of this World Cup that I've seen so far. In round one, you can see he had a buy comfortable rest 2-0 win. Round two, mein Hari Krishna ne black se aram se draw kar liya against the Cuban grandmaster Yasir Kesada Perez. But in round two, endgame magician Hari Krishna ko salam like salute. What a player! beautiful endgame technique one up on started pushing and slowly converted and got the win in his pocket got an extra rest day also that is also important so he got that rest and he will take on Constantine Lupulescu in round 3 as again you can see the longer bracket if Hare Krishna goes through he is uh, likely to play Yu Yangi of China or Amin Tabatabai of Iran so looks good for Hare Krishna because he is the higher rated in this match against Lupulescu. Next up we have our junior, India's number one junior, Bohadi Badia from Bohadhi Amazing Chess Kesat. Nihal Sarin has reached round three. He beat Arthur uh, Sesigwani of Uganda in round one, 1.5, 0.5, repeating the same result against Jugirov. But Jugirov, mind you, is a 2650 plus grandmaster. And interesting point is he beat Sanan Jugirov with the black pieces. And of course, we know Nihal has broken into the top 100. Abhi matlab 2700 target looks next for Nihal because he looks in sublime touch. He is taking on uh, Dimitri Andrekin, who is a former World Cup finalist. Matlab, he lost in the finals in 2011 World Cup and he also is a World Blitz champion. We know Nihal is a Blitz and Bullet star, a faster time control star, but even Andrekin is a Bullet, uh, is a Blitz world champion. So definitely this game uh, will be very interesting and this, I think this match will go to tie breaks is my guess and it's going to be a fascinating contest. If and when Nihal goes through, he is likely to play Verm Velmir Ivich or uh, Mathias Blobom of uh, Germany and uh, which also upcoming star from Serbia so an interesting matchup there so let's hope 
that Nihal wins it and he he if he wins this he will get a lesser stronger opponent so that is a good thing so if Nihal manages to get through this game it's going to be an easier matchup in round 4 so that is just going to make stuff easier next up we have our another indian star a favorite on this channel pragananda who crushed sergisian 2-0 amazing like a 2650 grandmaster is getting beaten by the 16 year old pragananda who absolutely demolished him in both the games and was not one of those lucky or slower wins it was just strong brutal chess and prag is through to round three he will play 57 year old michael krasenko from poland who had a phenomenal result as he beat alexienko but uh, it's age versus experience your guess is as good as mine and I think Prague will be going through from this game and he will play the candidate, uh, the, the very recent candidate and a French number two now because Ali Reza is number one, uh, French superstar Maxime Fasher le uh, in round four or David Paraviam depending on the results but I feel Prague versus Maxime is a matchup that I see very very likely happening in round four and it will be very when that happens. Before we wrap up, uh, let's have quick have a let's quickly have a look at a round uh, two uh, recap and how our other stars fared. Sadly, Gukesh went down fighting to Daniel Dubov from Russia, but uh, I mean excellent, excellent fighting spirit shown by Gukesh. He saved a minus position in the classical games. It, then it became one one. Then they drew another set, and it was um, uh, another another game. And then finally. Uh, Dubov won the rapid game but it was a very very well fought match by Gukesh and I think Gukesh should be proud of his play as we all are and Dubov plays on Malakov but sadly the journey for our Indian star ends right here. Uh, India's two-time national champion Arvind Chidambaram also sadly had to face the exit in round two as he was knocked out by Nodir Bek Abdul Satar of a younger player than him but again, one a small margin of error. He lost with the white pieces. It could have gone either way and we would have seen Anish Giri and Arvind. But sadly, he is out. But we wish him well and he also played a great, great match. And to wrap up the Indians, uh, uh, Indian matchups here, we saw Tomaszewski beating uh, the ACA, AICF qualifier, uh, P. Indian. Uh, Indian played a great game. He didn't... Uh, go back on or go back on the back, back foot he tried his best and he lost 2-0 to world's uh, top 30 player Tomaszewski so he has to be proud of his play and he also wrote on his social media that he gave it his all and he is happy to have had this world cup experience and he's returning back to India very soon and then he'll start prepping for his future games so overall guys uh, it was an amazing round 2 Sadly, three of them got knocked out, but we have five of them playing. So imagine 64 may say, patch to Indians. So a very, very good chance this time we have. There are plenty of Russians though, but I think India should be like the second or third most uh, field contingent here. And a uh, mouth-watering match coming up your way. Let me know once again, Adiban or Vidit, Team AD or Team VD in the comments. It's going to be a cracking match. I'll be back with updates. Till then, like the video and subscribe. I'll be back very, very soon.